Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a problem involving thermal convection um, in version 5.2a. This is uh, the same problem that we set up in an earlier version, and so this will be just a quick update. So I've entered the geometry in as a rectangle, and I've imported these variables as a file. Um, and now I'm ready to include some physics. So uh, the physics that I'm going to put in here is um, uh, non-isothermal flow. So I go here, fluid flow, and it's right here. We'll, we're just interested in laminar flow, so we'll include these physics. And now I need to set up these physics with some boundary conditions. So I'm uh, going to do some uh, interested in the um, convection. So I'll include gravity here. And then the boundary conditions for the fluid flow problem. Well, I'm going to have no flow conditions around the whole rectangle and I'll equalize the pressure here with a pressure point constraint and I'll just set that pressure there equal to zero um, and initial values I'll just use that all as defaults uh, we'll assume that this box here is this tank is filled with water so I'm gonna add water as a material okay that should be it and then for heat transfer, um, we've got the fluid properties set up from the material and we need to put in boundary conditions. So we'll have temperature boundary conditions on the top and on the bottom. And so the default is that the initial conditions, is, the initial temperature is 293 so let's make the top temperature equal to 293 and the bottom temperature is 293 uh, plus one so we'll have one degree of heating okay so i'm gonna i think i'll just use a default mesh uh, initially so here's the default mesh and um, we want to see what happens for uh, during the uh, well we'll run this for 200 seconds and so I'll need to put in a study that does that and let's see that's and we don't need that Okay, so that, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that took about a minute to run on my computer. Uh, and let's see, uh, this is what the velocity looks like at the end. I think it's nice to watch this through the temperature field. So we'll make a a video of this and we'll see this develop let's give us a little bit more room here well we we'll need to set this to temperature there we go Okay, so we'll just initially look at the default settings. And there you can, it's hard to see with this uh, range of temperatures. You can see that the range here, the default range is a little bit broader than I, than I think we would want. Um, so I'm gonna change that a little bit here. We'll specify the temperature range as, well, let's go here.
So we just want to be 293 to let's make it just a, a bit a bit smaller. You can see that shows the uh, the temperature range up a little bit better. Okay, so let's try that. I think that'll look pretty good and. So there we see there we we have uh, heating on the bottom and we see initially that we get just a uh, uniform heating at first and then we start to have the the boundary layer break up into these perturbations the perturbations grow and form these long tendrils and then they, these these heated plumes uh, tend to migrate laterally and merge and form larger heated plumes and uh, this is causing the water to flow and then here the water is circulating around and the, the plumes are continuing to merge as the um, uh, as it drives the water circulation through this this region